Happy Valentine's Day, everybody, and welcome to The Icing Artist. So today, we're gonna be making my personal favorite Rice Krispie squares. So to start off, you're gonna need four cups of mini marshmallows, four cups of Rice Krispies, three tablespoons of butter, some pink dye, as well as a heart-shaped cutter. Now I have a nine by 13 pan here that I've already greased some butter, and I'm gonna start off by melting my butter. Once I have that into a large bowl, I'm just gonna grease the sides of the bowl, kind of brushing up the butter so that way my marshmallows don't stick. Add in all of my marshmallows, and then stick that into the microwave, doing 30 second intervals. And after each interval, you really wanna stir it up really well, get that coating of butter all over those marshmallows. And with marshmallows, you wanna be really careful that you guys don't overcook these because when you do, they puff up and they create a big, sticky, gooey marshmallow mess. So make sure you're checking in on them. You know they're done when they're nice and melted, nice and seamless like this. Now I'm gonna add my food coloring directly into my marshmallows. I've done about half a teaspoon. And now I'm gonna add in my Rice Krispies. Once those are in, I'm just using my spatula and just stirring them up. Just folding over and folding over until you get all of those Rice Krispies completely covered with your pink goo. <laughs> I'm gonna plop that right into my pan and start spreading that out right away. So I'm just using my spatula here and I'm just pushing and pulling back and forth, kind of really trying to level out all of those Rice Krispies. Now I don't have quite enough to fill my whole pan, so I decided to kind of push them over to the one side and I'm using a piece of parchment paper to help me get a really nice level surface. Now right away, you wanna start cutting out your shapes. I'm doing this while they're still nice and soft, so that way we can remold it and make more. I found that this was the best method, although you can let them harden slightly and then cut them out that way. You just can't really remold the Rice Krispies afterwards. I'm gonna take them out of my pan and plop them onto a piece of parchment paper to dry. And just like I said, we're gonna take off all of those scraps and kind of mold those into a big ball and then flatten that out. Now it kind of looks like a big Rice Krispie square patty, but that's okay because we're gonna cut out another heart and then do the process again. Remold those and cut out another heart. Now I'm gonna melt some chocolate. I'm just using compound chocolate because I don't have to temper it. Although you guys can use any chocolate you like, just make sure you guys are tempering that properly. And again, I'm just gonna go in 30 second intervals until my chocolate is nice and melted. Pour that into the Ziploc bag. And I'm just using a cup here to help hold my Ziploc bag open. And cut off a very small corner. And then go back and forth, zigzagging, zigzagging, making this beautiful chocolate pattern. In one direction and then the other direction. This is a super fun way to dress up your Rice Krispie Squares. Give them that little extra bit of special. And what is better than Rice Krispie Square? Well, I would say Rice Krispie Square drizzled with chocolate. I have to say that Rice Krispie Squares is probably my all-time favorite dessert. I love them. They're so simple, but they're so good, especially with that little drizzle of chocolate. So I hope you guys really enjoyed them as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all later. Bye, guys.